put the stop band. Right? This thing here, I really want it to, it needed to be rejected, right? This part here is the pass band. And there's this famous thing that you always see it come down the cage. This thing here is the transition band. So now more powerful technique, I want to specify this. And I want to specify so that I really want that in the stop band, the signal went to wiggle, but wiggle with some tolerance of delta S. Right? Actually I want it to be one, but I can allow it to be one plus delta S or one minus delta S. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the transition band, because it's like no man land, I don't care. I let go whatever I like. And in this band here, I want it to be, you know, kind of above certain level. So that is delta P. No, 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 I got everything upside down. It is delta P, and it is delta S. Okay. <coughs> so for that is the the kind of more accurate requirement, right? Because remember here, I, with only n degree of freedom, I cannot hope to achieve perfect everywhere. I can only either achieve perfect for a certain set of point, or I want to achieve the best I can but with some tolerance. Okay, so that, that, that's the, and this is actually the most powerful technique. And it's the done by the filter design technique, is known by Park, McLellan, design technique. Very well known technique. <coughs> Park actually was a master student at that time. He was just doing a master's. And actually, uh, two years ago, Park and Mac uh, McLellan, they were the ways of the world in DSP because it used routinely in signal processing. Okay, so what is behind that technique? They set up the problem like this, and then they know that the filters they can design going to wiggle inside here. They're going to wiggle. They're going to wiggle inside here. And the filter, because I cannot enforce them, it went to be a continuous function, but it went to be really, I went to control itself in this range, and this range, it's going to wiggle inside here. And and we to get the best one, right? He tried to get the function. So this thing here is the function edge omega that can be written as summation of some edge and e j omega n and n go from zero to n minus one. So this curve here is even though it's a function from zero to pi, but it's controlled by only n degree of freedom. So is it? And here you see that actually is a polynomial. And because it's a polynomial and we're going here, and it really force them, so actually in the optimal case, it's going to hit all of these boundaries. So that's called this filter going to be the solution. Um, the solution. The solution. And that part we can really prove is an equal equilibrium. Filter. It's not hard to see, right? Because I really want to enforce something that it kind of above certain here. So when it hit, it went to the ripple, they all will be the same, right? Because if anything left, I can really push it more. Right? Because I really push them to the limit. So it can even show that. And if it's an equal ripple filter, uh, actually we know that it's going to hit this point. And, and, and they give you a set of equations which you can solve. So that, that's the thing behind the technique. And there is so called, uh, actually, this in the optimization is this because of the alternating theorem. If you learn about optimization, you, you probably learn about this, this theorem. Right? This is a uh, uh, check-to-check optimization problem. 
of a polyomial. Okay, uh, so I won't have a time to go through that, but just give you the motivation, the concept, and we don't need to know the details because it's just a command in MATLAB. So this command in MATLAB is a command called remix. MATLAB here. MATLAB is a remix command. You know that it's a really the, 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 the algorithm to, to do this optimization, if you know about that. So in the afternoon, you would experiment with this and look at the filter and see, see the major.